Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to the Now Miles Gadget View channel. Today I'm going to review the Cook's Essential 1.5, 1.5 pint self-freezing ice cream maker model k 45559 eim 900 So it has an instruction manual here. It has a, a recipe booklet, which is nice. It's just kind of a flimsy booklet. Um, spatula, a little spoon, you have the plug. And here's the machine right here. You can get it on Amazon, it looks like renewed for about 60 bucks. Uh, new, it goes for a little bit more. This thing gets four to five stars with 74 customer reviews. Cook's Essential Ice Cream Maker, powerful 90 watt mo motor, thermal electric self-freezing system. And the ice cream maker will help you hit the sweet spot. It says soft and hard ice cream settings. And yeah, on and on it goes, but uh, pretty cool, excited to test this out. I've actually never tested an ice cream maker on this channel before, so I think it'll be a little, little a fun thing to test. And uh, actually I have made it, I, not an electric ice cream maker, I did a manual ice cream maker, which isn't nearly as exciting, I don't think. So I found a great recipe, it even has pictures. I'm gonna make Rocky Road ice cream. So all you have to do is put in a half cup Half and half, one cup heavy cream, one half cup sugar, two tablespoons, two tablespoons of sweetened cocoa, one half cup mini marshmallows, and I got these uh, jet puffed marshmallows, multicolor, so I thought that'd be kind of cool. And then it says one tablespoon uh, walnuts or almonds chopped. I got some almonds, so I'm going to use that. It's surprising. It's just it's so. You look at the ingredients and, and ice cream is just so simple, so easy because some ice creams have tons of ingredients, but if you make it yourself and you have an ice cream maker, hopefully, because I remember back in the day, I used to have the manual ice cream maker and you had the rock salt and the ice and it was just, it, it was a big process, it was tough. Um, so this is gonna make things a lot easier. Combine all ingredients in a mixing bowl except for the marshmallows and the chopped nuts. Transfer ingredients carefully into the ice cream maker. Select hard or soft button, begin operation. Add marshmallows and chops mixture after 30, 30 to 45 minutes to prevent ingredients from settling to the bottom or jamming the spatula. Follow the op operational instructions for serving and cleaning of the ice cream maker. All right, so pretty self-explanatory. Well, let's get started. Let me just take off the top. Yeah, you can see that. So I don't think, I mean, ingredients I think are, are buying ice cream is, is pretty inexpensive. Uh, on itself, so I don't think it's a price thing. I think it's a quality thing and being able to make your own ice cream I mean if you're an ice cream fan I could definitely see doing this on a regular basis because I do not think it's about price I think it's about trying recipes Making your own ice cream and just using like real quality ingredients And I think it would be, be a fun thing to have and use so I may after after the review keep this item um, because I'm not a huge fan of ice cream, but I could see once in a while making your own would be a fun thing to do. All right, so one half cup. There we go. Two tablespoons of cocoa. Cause I mean, you've been to those local ice cream shops, you know, that have just flavor after flavor and it's just, they're really unique. I mean, I think the sky's the limit for different flavor combinations, like using your favorite candy, you know, getting Reese's Pieces, getting your favorite truffle, getting your favorite candy bar, breaking up, you know, candy canes. I think you could just come up with so many different ideas of this, this thing. York peppermint patties. All right, so let me just, Okay, one half cup, half and half. You kind of realize how you're like, what? I mean, when you eat ice cream, you, you never like really think about what you're eating, but then when you make it, you're like, wow, this is, this is rich stuff. No wonder it's so good. All right, so one half cup, half and half. Well, 
I wonder if there's any like healthier, you know, ice cream recipes. Maybe like one without as much sugar. I don't know. But I guess that's the fun of it, right? I heard one person talk about like making banana ice cream, so I could see that, like just adding tons of bananas. All right, so uh, one half cup heavy cream, or one cup heavy cream. All right. And you can probably bake two batches of ice cream with what I purchased at the store. All right. So I'm gonna wait on the mini marshmallows, wait on the walnuts, but all the ingredients are ready to go, so I'm just kinda of, gonna kind of mix them up, get them all together. Mix those up more, get a whisk. Um, for, for the sake of time, you get the idea. All right, so here we go. And the machine should, actually, I don't know. The machine might not, might just settle. Um, let me find a whisk, here we go. Got a little whisk right here. Okay. Okay, here, so. All right, I'm gonna plug it in. All right, so I'm gonna turn it around because the plug-in is in the back here. So, I'm going to set it on the hard setting, and that's kind of cool, there's a light, let me show you that. Look at that. So you can see there's a green light, like different settings have different, you have stop. Alright, so I'm going to pour this in. Let me taste it, see what it tastes like. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> That's already absolutely delicious. Mmm. That's good. Sugar, cream. All right, so let me zoom in on that and just put on the top. That would make sense. All right, so it's turning it. Let me show you that, which is really cool. That's all automatic, it's automated, and it's stirring it for you. So cool. Okay, so I'm gonna set the timer. Alexa, set timer for 30 minutes. Alexa, set timer for 30 minutes. 30 minutes, starting now. All right, so I'm gonna set the timer for 30 minutes. Then add the ingredients. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes. It says if the paddle does not rotate anymore due to the hardness of the ice cream, press the stop button. So that's uh, good to know. Do not turn off the motor unless the ice cream is ready. Um, obviously, I'm gonna have to turn it off to put in the ingredients. So I'm gonna get everything ready. Um, I'm gonna kind of just eyeball it, but uh, let's see here. Got the, the almonds and it says, uh, two tablespoons, so not many. I'm just gonna kinda lightly break them up very quickly. Okay, 
So it's going to be pretty chunky. But um, you get the idea. Okay, and then, uh, yeah, one half cup of the mini marshmallows. But, okay, so here we go. I'm going to press stop, open it real quickly, throw these in. I don't really want that many or that much uh, nuts anyway, just kind of for some flavor. Okay, so marshmallows, throw those in and line up. There's these two little dots that won't work unless it's you line it up. You gotta line it up perfectly. Okay, there we go. So set in the hard setting. All right, so it's been about 45 minutes. The direction set. It should take about 45 minutes. Um, so I don't want the spatula to stop. But I said it takes between 45 and 120 minutes. Um, I figure for the review, let's just stop it here. So I'm going to stop it. It probably will be a little bit soft, which it is. Um, but yeah, actually, let's let it go. I want this to be a true, true review. It's just too soft to be called ice cream. I, I would say soft serve, yes, but ice cream, you're looking for ice cream. So let's let it continue. All right, so it just started beeping. I believe that's because it can't spin anymore. Looks like it's ready, ready, it's flashing. So here we go, stop. Let's open it up, see what's inside. I'll give you a close up. Yeah, so the spatula, I could take it out, but just for the sake of it, uh, let's just leave it in there. But yeah, it's ready to go. Check that out. Look at that. That looks pretty good. Let me just show you the consistency. All right, so here we go. Let me just show you. So it's soft. But definitely ready to put in the freezer. You know, put it, unload it into a container, put it in the freezer, something like that. But here we go, Rocky Road ice cream. How does it taste? First attempt at ice cream in this machine. Three, two, one. Yeah, delicious. Very, very good. I mean, it doesn't even need the marshmallows. It doesn't even need the almonds. This chocolate is amazing. It's very, very good. Yeah, I'll probably use less marshmallows uh, next time, but delicious. Made ice cream perfectly. Uh, it's basically foolproof, I'd say. Um, but yeah, really cool. Let me just give you, give you another close-up of this. Yeah, so check that out. That's what the ice cream looks like. And then I'm gonna take the, uh, I'm gonna take this spatula out. And so that was pretty easy. All right, so you know, get this, get to lick the spatula here. Alexa, ah. So I'd say that was a success. So you, now you just take this out and put it in a, you know, uh, I guess a freezer safe container, you know, for ice cream, something that could seal it off and you're ready to go. So yeah, definitely recommend the Cook's Essential. 1.5 pint self-freezing ice cream maker. Worked really well. I like it a lot. Delicious ice cream. Better than what you get in the store. And so I do recommend it. And there's the logo right there. So thanks for watching everyone. Let me know what you think. If you like my content, share with your friends and family. And thanks for watching everyone. Until next time, I'll see you later. So yeah, what I didn't eat last night, I just want to show you what the texture looks like. And it looks amazing. So you look at that. So this is in the freezer. It didn't get like hard, you know, hard as a rock. It is still soft like ice cream, but look at that texture, it's perfect. It tastes better actually now than it did straight out of the ice cream machine.